M0FXB F4HWN has done some excellent work on the UVK1. We've got firmware that actually links this radio to the computer. You can view the whole screen. And it's also been done for a version 3 of the K5K6. But this is the key thing. Most people have not got version 3, including me. I've got 20 of these Quashangs here. Not one of them is version 3. How can you tell? Just take the battery off. OK, and look on the back now. When I was watching Armel's video, he looked where the where the serial number was. And next to the serial number, it actually said V3. I've got a couple of models here. And here's one here. I'm not sure how well you can see that well, how well it will zoom. But right next to the serial number, it says ic30518 which is what most of most of them have got then it says uvk5 right above the barcode to the right of that it says version 3 mine doesn't okay or sometimes it's imprinted on the case here so if you try and flash armel's firmware and there is that you can flash a k5 it says it up here uh uvk5 version 3 and uvk1 it's very clear you will brick your device permanently and the cost or the trouble that it will take to bring that you know back to life so it's a working radio isn't worth it you might as well just really keep it for spare parts um keep the keep everything keep the case keep the knob if you really like the case you could swap it with another radio very easy to take these apart there aren't there aren't even any screws you literally just uh, pull the knob off and then get something thin in the bottom. It just clips up and the whole thing, once you've taken the antenna off and the knob off, just slips out. You can swap it to another radio. So it won't be a complete waste. Um, I mean, the antennas, I find that the antennas that you got with your UV K5 radios, OK, yeah, are really good and work really well. Then you've got the knob, you've got the... The belt clip, the battery, I mean, it's easily worth more than, if you ask me, than the radio is actually worth. It's, it's worth more. Um, so if you do brick it, buy another one. And there's some really good deals, it's Christmas. But the key thing is, now I've been looking to see, uh, well, where can we get a version 3 from? And as far as I can see, no one's advertising that it's version 3. You've got latest model, and I've been told that models um, made after November 2025 are version 3. But no one actually says it. So I would say if you really want a version 3, message the seller. Now, if you, my, my friends, um, have purchased one that came to you with a version 3 model, send me that link. Because I don't want to buy a radio, and I've got 21 radios, and it's still not version 3. So if someone's got a direct link for version 3, please tell me. And I'll put that link in the description of this of this video so that you can buy a version 3. But, um, but otherwise, I'm having great fun. This is a Superman logo that I just... Oh, you can't see it anyway. But there's a Superman logo on here. And probably you're going to end up buying the um, one of these rather than a K5 anyway. But, I mean, they are... You know, I do like them. I do like the, the the older K5. I've got plenty of older ones here as well. None of them version 3. So the crucial thing is um, read the instructions, read the advice given by Armel. Get yourself a version 3 and get me one. Send me one. I'll give you a mention on my YouTube channel. I need a version 3. Bye for now. They're only £20. Come on. Seven,